In addition to being bombarded with flyers from various student groups on Bruin Walk, students are also approached by people from organizations not affiliated with UCLA. The problem arises, however, in judging the legitimacy of organizations that are asking for donations or selling coupons for local businesses. Morrow's Hair Studio in Beverly Hills has stylists that operate independently and rent space in the studio for independent contracting. One particular stylist, George Demas, hired a sales representative to come to Bruinwalk to sell cards for haircuts. Students who bought the card paid $50 up front, but when they actually went to the salon, they were charged with hidden fees. And then you get this card, and it lists like what the card entails, which is like, you know, it says you can get um, for one visit you can get like a haircut. For another visit, there's like a, you know, vitamin treatment. You know, there's like different things for each for four different visits. But what they don't say on the card is that generally the stylists. Um, they, they do extra things that they don't say they're going to do, and then they tell you afterwards. And when they went there, the services were pretty bad, and to get the actual, like to upgrade to what it said on the flyer, they had to pay like $50, $60 more than what it said on the coupon and stuff, and it was like a really drawn-out process. We, we ended up having to go to his apartment instead of the studio because um, he like hurt his leg. We were kind of apprehensive, but... Um, you know, we already paid the $50, and it's like, you know, if you've already put that money down, you want to get what you paid for. He kept on talking about, like, his sexual exploits, and at one point he asked my friend to take off her shirt, and obviously she didn't, and I'm really glad that I was there with her because, you know, I wouldn't want anyone to go to his place alone. Daily Bruin TV contacted Morrow's Hair Studio, but neither the salon nor stylist, George Demas, replied to our calls. According to the Federal Trade Commission website, all consumers are subject to the cooling-off rule. This rule gives consumers a right to return or cancel any item that they purchase outside the location of the seller's permanent place of business. Since the sales representatives from the salon were selling on Bruin Walk, this rule would apply. If anyone watching has fell victim to hidden fees or unsatisfactory services of more than $50, the FTC website suggests that you first send a complaint letter to the pertaining business. A sample complaint letter can be found at www.ftc.gov. If this doesn't resolve the issue, one can submit a direct complaint to the FTC. To protect yourself from future scams, steer clear of unfamiliar cards or services. And if a seller on Bruinwalk or another location does spark your interest, don't be afraid to ask a lot of questions to find out what your purchase entails. Reporting for Daily Bruin TV, this is Melissa Hong.